Hi, welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to, well, in front of me, what I have is the food sense generation four. So we'll be um, measuring the hotness of a chili sample. And I suppose the chili sample I'll be measuring this morning is actually this one of these one chip challenges. I've got the box here. So um, we'll be taking the one chip challenge. We'll be measuring its Scoville heat unit. And I will be, um, maybe at the end, I'll actually test it as well. So just so you get a sense of it, this is the um, box. It's well packaged and obviously, you know, good marketing on it, talking about the hotness and that you need an ID to buy it. But um, let's actually measure the Scoville heat unit of um, that um, product. So what I have here is the um, food sense generation four. I have the one chip that I actually took the sample from. I'll talk about how I prepared the sample in a little bit. But what I'll do now is I'll put in a new um, chili sensor. So this is the food sense generation four. Um, I have a sensor here and what I'll do now is I'm just going to take a sample of this and I will test it so in fact what I'll do first of all is just grab my phone so the food sense generation 4 is in Bluetooth connection um, with my phone and I'll be able to um, control the food sense generation 4 from my phone so the first thing I'll do now is um, I'll talk about how I prepared the sample secondly but first of all I want to just get first of all get a reading so I'll do that so I'll, I've prepared the sample I'll take 50 microliters of the sample I'll put that onto the sensor which I'm now doing I'll come to the app um, in the app I'm just gonna make sure that I choose what's called one in 100 because that's how much dilution I had to do in order to, pre to prepare this and I'll just hit start and off it goes so I get this kind of streaming of signal in real time so with this this um, phone is in Bluetooth connection with um, the food sensor generation four in front of me, and now it's run. So what it's now doing is um, sending the data um, to a cloud system where it'll analyze the data and give me a result, and um, it'll give me the result in Scoville heat unit. So these kind of products have a, I want to say, reputation um, for being um, hot. So the hotness of this is fifty says fifty six thousand um, Scoville heat units. Now, I know that people say, oh, this is 2.2 um, million, but that's because it's made from Carolina Reaper. So Carolina Reaper powder has the reputation of being 2, um, you know, 2 million, 2.2 2 million Scoville heat units. But understand that that is mostly, let's say, I, you know, I don't want to say a chip, but it's mostly not Carolina Reaper it's it's actually you know it's a sort of chip covered in carolina reaper powder so the fact that it's um about in fact i'm not about it's fifty six thousand. um if you take fifty thousand divided by about um two million we're talking about about two and a half percent which makes sense because really when you look at it it's actually a powder um coating the chip so it can't be at 2.2 .2 million because it's actually highly diluted Right now, um, we've got the result. I just want to sort of show you that something um, a little bit cool about what I'm doing. Um, with many, let's say, um, ways of measuring the Scoville heat unit, people actually, um, it's mostly based on opinion, maybe chat GPT, maybe Google searching. But here, actually, we not only did the result here, I'm just going to go up, but the data also went to a cloud system called Julie. And in there, I can see the capsaicin um, signal. Um, like I said at the end of this, I'll actually have a quick taste on that. And I mean, I think to be frank, fifty thousand is a bit intense, but I'll have a go at it. Um, so what, every time we make a measurement, the data goes to the cloud. Wow, yeah, you can really see these intense peaks. And I actually diluted this a hundred times. So to be fair, it is really intense. Actually, this is what we call peak one, peak two, and peak three. So that's really is the um, fingerprint for capsaicin. Now what I want to do is, so we did that, we um, we did the test on it, we came back with 56,000 Scoville heat units. I just want to kind of say I took the corner off um, the chip, in fact you can sort of see that corner missing here. Um, it's probably worth noting that this is very heterogeneous, you know I can see sort of patches in this and stuff like that, so probably crunching up the whole chip would give me a more um, accurate measurement, but I wanted to also taste the chip as well. Anyway, I made, I tried to weigh out 0 0.1 um, milligrams. I weighed out 0 0.106, you know, which will put a sort of 6% error on that, but for the sake of making this video. So I weighed out 0 0.1 um, milligram, sorry, 0 0.1 grams 
I should I'll make sure I say that clearly, 0.1 grams of the um, chip. And I diluted it in 0.9 mils of the buffer. So with the food sense duration four, um, we ship this um, buffer along with it. It's called the chili buffer. So 0.1 grams of the chip with 0.9 mils of the buffer. But when I tested that, the technology is quite smart and it said it's actually essentially too intense and that you need to dilute more. So I took 0.1 mils of this solution and added 0.9 mils of the buffer. So I did another dilution. So I went from one, what's called one in 10 dilution to one in 100. That's when, when you saw me using the app, I told the app that I did a one in 100 dilution because in fact I did um, dilute it. So this was the sample I ended up testing. This is what the one in 10 looks like. And then this is what the one in 100 looks like. Anyway, I tested the one in 100, but I was made sure I actually told the app what it was. Now, I think what I have here now is the sort of thank you. But before I do that, let me just um, oh, let me just try what this thing really tastes like. So um, I'm not a chili head. I'm not going to be absolutely amazing at this. I'll just give it a go. Oh, my God. All right. It, it is intense. So I'm losing my voice on this, but it is intense. Um, so 50,000 Scoville heat units is a bit much. Or 56,000 Scoville heat units, but I think this is the most scientific experiment on measuring the true hotness of Scoville heat unit of the one chip challenge. And if you have any questions, to be fair, it's actually going quite quickly now. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, thanks very much.